Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I decided I'm going to experiment with my lights a little bit because it's a bit gloomy outside. I hope that is the right word. So I just wanted to lift it up a little bit. Anyway, I'm going for holidays in a few days. Well, technically by the time the video comes out, I'm going to be on holidays. So I found the perfect puzzle to do before going. And maybe a lot of people won't get it why, but it's maybe it's just more personal or maybe it's a Slovenian thing, I don't know. But let me show you the puzzle first. It's a 550 piece puzzle by Book People and the title of this one is Crossword Jigsaw. So now that you've seen a puzzle, I can explain why this is for me personally a perfect holiday, well, pre-holiday puzzle is because in my family, we always did crosswords when we went like on holidays. We would never do them at home at all. Like we wouldn't, because you can have subscriptions and all of that. We didn't have any of that. But before going for holidays, we would always buy like a bunch of the crossword magazines and stuff. So you ha you can solve the, the puzzles inside. Obviously there are different ones inside as well. We've got the connect the dots and Sudoku and all of that. So it's not just crosswords specifically. Because this is actually probably the most difficult part for me and it's English as well so we, I'm not sure I'm gonna get any <laughs> clues at all but that's okay because that's why I've got you so you can help me solve the puzzle when I'm on holidays because the video is gonna come out and we can solve it together. It was actually suggested to me in the comments to do the puzzle together which I thought it was a really clever idea so I'm gonna let you help me because I don't think I'm gonna get much right. <laughs> But yeah, first I have to solve the puzzle, obviously. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna, well, tackle that. This is a new brand for me, so before tackling it, we have to see what's in the box. So we've got the poster, which is included, and I think this is the actual puzzle. And it's printed on a paper, so you could actually fill it in. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Do you think I should fill in the puzzle? Nah. No, because then you can't give it away. Then it loses the purpose. So yeah, this is basically the puzzle that I'm going to be putting together. And honestly, I thought I was expecting that there's going to be more numbers on it. And it's not that many. So I'm a little bit worried because I was kind of focusing that this is going to be really helpful for me to assemble the puzzle. So this part is definitely going to be easy because it's just, you know, you can just read it down and it's, it's going to be easy to find probably like five minutes for that. But this is going to be a bit trickier. I'm not sure there's a lot of blocks of black, so maybe it's going to be easy to work around it. I'm not sure. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm quite happy that it's only a 500 piece puzzle because it feels like a thousand piece puzzle of a crossword could be a nightmare. But I, I cannot know until I actually do it. So I'm not going to say too much before doing it. But as you can see, the pieces are all in the bag still, so it's sealed, which is a good thing because it means that all the pieces are there probably, well, most likely, but I just want to check the quality first. But they have all variety of shapes, which is also another good thing because you always want that. It's a lot easier to puzzle that way. So the pieces are a bit larger than your standard sized puzzle, but the quality seems to be quite good. It's quite thick as well and the print is very clear. The only thing that I would point out is that it's got a gloss finish, which is definitely not my favorite. So now that we've checked the quality, I think it's time to finally tackle the puzzle. But I just wanted to see what the crossword clues are. Oh. I think I'm gonna know a few of the answers, but I'm definitely not good at crosswords. But luckily I'm good at puzzles, so let's just, you know, assemble the puzzle first and then see what happens. Okay, I got this thing completely wrong. I thought it's gonna be a lot easier than it actually was. I wanted to save the puzzle dust for you so I can show you how much there is. Almost none. But now I wanna talk about the puzzle. So, one thing that I've noticed first is that the picture doesn't actually match 
the puzzle image. So whatever is written, it matches, but the wording, it doesn't match. You can see here where it says waterproof boots, that the waterproof should be in the bottom line. That was a bit confusing. I didn't really know how to tackle the puzzle because at first I thought, oh, I'm just going to read what I need to find and then I'm going to find the piece and then put it in. But then I realized it was actually quicker to just go by the shapes and the amount of writing on the pieces because obviously the first row was easy because it had everything with capital letters. So it was really easy to just do the front row and then you know that the further along you go, the less is going to be written on the pieces. So that's basically how I went and it was the quickest way to finish it. It took me so long though, I thought this is going to be five minutes and it's going to finish. But it was like my time lapse ran out, which is 45 minutes. And yeah, but that was everything. That was the sorting, the frame and the the thing as well so I can't just blame yeah I would say it probably took me about half an hour to do that which makes me a little bit worried about this part now because this is a lot bigger but what I've noticed is that I got the puzzle completely wrong so the crossword is already solved so there's going to be no writing on the puzzle because it's already done so technically you're supposed to do the crossword first and then do the puzzle because it helps, because then you know what you're looking for. I think the fact that the puzzle already has the crossword done is going to be very helpful because you've got letters, you know the direction in which the pieces have to be turned, which makes the like a big, big, big difference. Even if you don't know what the actual answers are, it still helps because you can just check, you know, this M is missing a line and you just look for that line. So either way is going to be helpful that the puzzle is done even if I don't have the solutions. Now, I don't want to write on this paper because it's original paper that came in the box. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go print out like a smaller version. I'm going to print a few copies so I can leave them in the box as well for other people who are going to get the puzzle after and try to solve what I can. It's not going to be a lot. I read through it a little bit. I, I have no clue what like the majority of the stuff are, but I'm gonna do my best to fill in the ones that I know because at least it's gonna be a little bit helpful. So I'm gonna go print that out now because I don't have a printer at home and then when I get back, I'm gonna try to solve it. It's gonna be a disaster, but just, yeah, just bear with me. Okay, I'm back with the copies of the crossword. I made four copies, so three I'm gonna keep in the box. And I kind of started working on it because well, they're building the lift in my apartment building and it can be really loud and it can be really difficult to record sometimes because you can just hear drilling and everything. So I just started doing it off camera, but I just thought it would be probably better to talk to you. I don't know a lot though, so please don't judge. But let's just go one by one and see how much we actually can get. I already put some in, but I didn't get far. So the first one is, oh, we are doing a cross now. I don't know how to show this, but hmm, maybe put the puzzle like that so you kind of have an impression of where something goes. Okay, let's do that. I'm just going to quickly read through them because I'm not going to know the majority of them anyway. So, a cross. First name of the first lady who wrote Becoming. No idea. Five. Number five. Oh yeah, because they don't go in order. Yeah. Use sparingly. Don't be extravagant. Yeah. What would that be? You sparingly. I don't know. Number nine, the Great Barrier Reef and the Grand Canyon are World Heritage Sites. I already put that in, so I hope it's right. Okay, number 13, Shine Sparkle. I don't know what that would be. I was thinking like, I don't know, glossy, but it, no. I don't know, because th that's the thing, like, I don't even know how to do crossword in Slovenian and I know more of the words, but then in English it just makes it so much more difficult, because I don't even know half of the words, probably. Number 14, the center of an amphitheater. How do you say that? Am amphitheater. I know what it is. I have no idea what the... What is it? Stage? Oh, maybe it's a stage. Let's try that. I'm just putting stuff in now. Okay. <clears throat> Authenticity, showing life as it is. That's number 15. I put re realist. No idea if that's correct, but you know. 
Uh, then we've got number 16, arm rocking and sed or sedan. Sed sedan, oh god, I don't, yeah. There are some words I don't know, so I'm sorry about the pronunciation. So that's a chair. I put the chair down. I have no idea what sedan is. I know what arm and rocking are though. So number 17 is watery snow. Now I know how to say that in Slovenian. No idea what would that be in English. Number 18, random disorderly. Random disorderly. Yeah, nope. Number 19, creator of the Mona Lisa with the enigmatic smile. So Leonardo da Vinci, I already put that one in, that's an easy one. Number 21, fish eating mammal with webbed feet and dense fur. Now I feel like I should know what that is, it's got five letters. Is it like beaver? I don't know what they eat. Fish eating mammal. Do beavers have... I, I'm gonna put beaver in. I hope I know how to spell that. Oh no! We don't have enough space for that. I have no idea what that would be. Or is it otter? Oh, is it otter? How do you spell that? Oh my goodness. Is it with a... Okay. I think it's double T. Don't judge me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what a Slovenian word for this animal is. Anyway, I, I just put that down. Okay. So now we've got 22 rats, mice and squirrels. Well, I would assume that there's like a, you know, how we have strawberries, blueberries and you just call them berries. I have no idea what that would be. I don't think we've got a Slovenian word for it even, so. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. 24, coated with a layer of precious white metal. Now I would say silver plated, can you say that? Silver, it's precious white metal, it has to be silver. So silver, I already started doing that and then I that's when I decided I'm gonna start recording. Silver plated. It comes in. So I'm just gonna put that silver plated. Okay. I might be wrong. We're gonna find out soon enough. Okay, number 28. A ferocious decisive battle on a huge scale. It's got 10 letters. Yeah, no idea. No, no idea. Number 30, instinctive understanding for melody, harmony and rhythm. Also 10 letters. Instinctive understanding for melody. Nope. Number 32, dormant Mexico volcano. No idea. 33, Shakespeare play with Prospero, Caliban and Ariel. The something. Seven letters. I know of Shakespeare, we didn't really study him at school as much because, you know, we had our own writers that we had to learn, so yeah, no idea what the, the play is. Um, number 36, actor Christopher, who starred in the Superman movie franchise. Yeah. I feel like I should know that one, but I'm just not getting any surnames. To <laughs> oh god. Okay, number 38. Dictatorship government by just one political party. But is that not... They already gave you the answer. Why is it 15 letters? 15 letters! Yeah, I'm never gonna know that. Okay, 41. Fizzy festive drink from the area of France of the same name. Of the same name. Is it Prosecco? Because I, I drove past it and there was a... When I went to Italy, it said Prosecco on it. It has to be Prosecco. I would say Champagne, but I think Prosecco. Oh, how do you spell that? 41, where are you? Prosecco, does it have double S? Double C? Pro? I don't know how to spell it. I don't drink Prosecco. <laughs> Pro. Pro. 
Okay, it's not Prosecco. Um, unless I spelt it wrong. Uh, because there's one letter, the too short, so it's not that. Okay, I got that one wrong. I already know that. Okay, let's move on. For 43, the Arctic lies around this pole. Arctic. That's the North Pole then. 43 North. Okay, number 45, tree with smooth grey bark and glossy leaves. Okay, I know what that is in Slovenian. I need to Google translate it. Is it birch? I think it's birch tree. Yeah. I'm just guessing now. Okay, 47, the smallest and most easterly of the Great Lakes. No idea why this is. 48, creamy dessert, panna, panna cotta. Obviously, how do you spell that? He's got five letters. Double T, I suppose. Okay, that was easy. 49, performer who sings or plays alone. Seven letters. Performer who sings or plays alone. What would that be? In individual? I don't know what the word would be. To, I don't know what the word would be for that. Okay, let's keep on. Number 50, blissful romantic event. Date? It's not a date, it's got five letters. Blissful romantic event. Oh my god, I don't know what it is. I would put date in. But romantic event is data romantic event obviously not I don't know what it is five letters okay number 51 shade of yellow or reddish brown reddish brown is that not what's that word I've got I've got blank reddish brown uh, oh my god I can't believe that um uh, da, 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 da. I can't remember like I I know the I think I know which color it is but I genuinely do not remember now reddish brown oh my god yeah blank okay 52 private secret eight eight letters private private comma secret no idea. Okay, let's go down now. <laughs> Number one, Mozart Opera the something flute. Five letters. No idea. I know of Mozart, but you know, again, not, yeah, not that much. Number two, City of Illinois, USA, once famous for its gangsters. Sorry. Like, I know some stuff about Europe and stuff and England, but America is like a different section that's even worse. Like, I don't know much. Number three, amuse, provide with a pleasant distraction. Nine letters. Provide with a pleasant distraction. Disori... Dis... Disori. Provide with pleasant distraction. Disoriate. I don't know how to spell that. This... Let me see if it even comes in. Because I've got two letters already, so it helps. Um... Disorient. Can you say that? This ori. Oh no, because it's got a. Disori. Yeah, I don't know what that would be. Okay, let's move on. Okay, down is not going well so far. Number four. A golf course with some rough and sandy terrain. That has a word? That's number five. No, number four. I thought it's just a golf course. What is that called? I know they have driving range when they just shoot balls, but I didn't know there's like an actual name for it. Yeah, let's just keep that one. Number six, in an original or imaginative way. Ten letters. I would say unique, but unique definitely does not have ten letters. Mm. Okay, this is a disaster. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just move on. Number seven, nationality of F1 racing drivers Ricardo Patrice and Mario Andretti. Seven letters. I would say Italian just based on the surname Andretti. 
Where is number seven? Is it not? Did I mix number 14? Hum. Because if number 14 across, which is center of amphitheater, I put stage. If that is incorrect. Because then it would be Italian. What am I more sure in? Oh. Uh, I'm, okay, stage is wrong, I would assume, because I think it's Italian. Oh god, this is a mess. <laughs> okay, but at least I got one down. So number eight, artist who produces pictures of people. Eight, seven. What does that mean? Oh, I see. Okay, so it says it's got two words. Where is that? Number eight. For... It has to be something photographer, but I don't know what it would be. Photographer. Artist who produces pictures of people. Portrait. Photographer. Artist. I don't think we've got... But... Portrait, it has to be portrait. Oh, so. It's weird because I feel like I can't say photographer, but then it says artist. So it has to be a person. Artist who produces pictures of people. Portrait, fo photo, photo. It could be the silver plated is wrong and then the P wouldn't be there. Hmm. Trade photo. I don't know, I'm just gonna write photo. I don't know how to end it. Photo. Portrait photo. Oh, oh god. This is awful. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to stick to puzzles, I think. Okay, number nine, colloquial language. I have no idea what that even means. Number ten. One of three babies born from one pregnancy. So that's a triplet. What's number 10? Triplet. Okay, that was easy. Finally, some easy ones. Number 11. Broad brimmed Spanish hat. Broad brimmed Spanish hat. Is that like a sombrero? Uh, <laughs> sombrero. Okay, so... Oh, realism. That could still work. So, realist has changed into realism now. So, just so you know, because the letters didn't match. Okay, number 12. Optical instrument with reflective surfacing forming patterns. Optical instrument forming patterns. It wouldn't be a mirror, would it? It's got 12 letters. Where is it? Number 12. Hmm. Yeah, no idea. I would say mirror that doesn't have 12 letters. I'm just going to go on. Number 19, I immature form of insects. Immature form. Why is that eggs? Huh. It's got six letters, so obviously it can't be eggs. What would it be? Number 19, do we have any help? It starts on an L because we've got Leonardo da Vinci, so it's like leeches. How do you spell that? Leeches. Leeches? I'm just guessing now. That's okay. Uh, number 20. Derogatory tending to dis derogatory tending to discredit someone. 15 letters. Number 20, where are you? It starts on a D. Hmm. Derogatory tending to discredit someone. I wouldn't know. Okay, 21. Tennis player Naomi, whose first Grand Slam title was the US Open in 2018. Five letters. I don't know women tennis, so I'm going to have to skip that one. Number 23. Disney's elephant with oversized ears. Oh, there's, is it Dumbo? I think it's Dumbo. Yeah, I'm just going to cross that off. 23, where are you? 
23 dumbbell. Okay, so 25 having the same tights and opportunity. Right. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I read tights. Okay, this has been. Um, it has been scanned, so yeah, it didn't. Yeah, anyway, having the same rights and opportunities as others. Uh, that's 12 letters. I would say equality. Where's 25? Equality. Is that equality? It can't be. Because it's got an R inside. Oh, wait. Unless it's south, not north. No, but it says... Wait, I'm so confused now. 43. It says the Arctic lies around this pole. It has to be North Pole because Arctic's on the north. So if it's then equality, it can't be equality then because it's got an R inside. Uh, but it starts on an E. If silver plated is right, if it's wrong, then we've got a problem. Anyway, let's move on. Number 26, banishment and forced expulsion abroad. Yeah, I don't know that. 20, number 27, the planets and moons that all be the sun, the solar, and then it's a blank, six letters, system, the solar system. Where is number 27? Where are you? System. Okay. Number 29, we've got London Theatre with a thatched roof on the side of an Elizabeth Playhouse. Ah, good luck. I wouldn't know. So, number 31, the New Zealand capital, a British Prime Minister in a waterproof boot. Now, Donna Louise would kill me now. I actually don't know what the capital of New Zealand is. That's really bad. I also don't know a British Prime Minister. I do know a waterproof boot, though. <laughs> and I know that Wellington is a place, so I would assume that that's New Zealand's capital. That's really bad. Sorry, Donna Louise, don't hate me. <laughs> um... Okay, so 31 Wellington. Okay, so the next one is 34 small rounds of minced beef. So that would be, what are they called? Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. Uh, meatballs. Yeah, 34. Where is 34? No, yeah, 34. Meat. Balls. Okay. Meatballs. So, 35. US film producer Cubby, famous for the Bond movies. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I should probably know that, but yeah. Uh, 37. Precisely, accurately. Seven letters. Precisely. Let me see if we've got any help. No, we don't, because I've put Prosecco down and it's not right. Okay. 39. Black syrup molasses. No idea what that even is. It's got seven letters. Number 40. Peninsula, which includes Spain and Portugal. I don't know what a peninsula is. Which includes Spain and Portugal. Oh, God. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Uh, 42, danger, hazard, five letters. I guess there's just another, another word for that. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Number 44, pro, 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 proverb. How do you say that proverb? Proverb? Number 44, pro, proverb. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Oh my God. More blank, less speed. What? I've never heard of that. It's got five letters more. Okay, so I've been solving this for so long that my battery died on me. Okay, so 44 proverb, more, more blank, less speed. Five letters, more blank, less speed. I don't know what that would be. Number 44, where are you? It starts on a H. More, sh less speed. More, more, more. 
I don't know. I'm gonna skip that one. We've only got one left. 46 in, place with overnight accommodation. Five letters, starts on an H as well, it's hotel. Okay. <laughs> this was a disaster, to say the least. So this is how much I've got. It's not a lot. Maybe it's gonna help. I'm interested to see, because obviously I'm gonna get all the answers once I put the puzzle together. So I'm interested to see how wrong I was. But anyway, yeah, I'm not good at crosswords. I don't know how you did. You don't have to answer all the questions because obviously it's gonna be revealed with the puzzle as well. But maybe just write how many you got in total because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 28. And then we've got 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56. We've got 56 in total. So maybe just write how many out of 56 you got. And then, yeah, I got not many. I mean, I feel like I've got quite a few, but once I put the puzzle together, I think I'm going to realize that I've got quite a few of them wrong. So yeah, I think it's time to just finish the puzzle now. The first thing I decided to do is just sort all the pieces based on their shape because you've got letters on them so it's easily turnable so you know which direction the pieces are turned. I had some troubles with S's and O's and N's and I's because it's just like with those letters you don't really know what's up or what's down but I think I figured the majority of it out. And also with each shape I made a separate pile which are for the pieces that I don't know in which direction they're turned. So I think I did quite good sorting. It was a little bit annoying that I had to do sorting so early on because I had about 300 pieces left but I think it's a good preparation to continue working on this puzzle. So with some stuff it was really easy to know where something goes because I knew exactly which letter to look for. It's actually quite easy to look for the pieces based on the shape and the letters, but it definitely doesn't help that I didn't solve the crossword before tackling the puzzle because I don't know which letters to look for. So I would definitely say that it's a bit more difficult than I expected. Oh my god, this puzzle, like I genuinely thought because it's 550 pieces that I'm going to be done in no time. But actually, like this is a mess, I've still got so much to do. It's actually quite enjoyable to solve the crossword as I'm solving the puzzle, because obviously I get clues with the letters and then I just keep connecting it. And there are some things, like I remember rodents, I'm like, oh my god, we don't have a Slovenian word for it, but I just... At one point I just remembered it and, you know, there is some other stuff when it's really easy to follow the letters, especially like Leonardo da Vinci was really easy to follow because it was in the same line. But there are some places where I'm just like, if I knew which letter I need, it would make it so much easier. But I genuinely do not know which letters I need. Otherwise I could have easily filled this in. So I'm at a point now where I, I don't know if I should try to solve the crossword first and then return back to puzzling or just keep going the way I was going now because obviously it is doable we still have the shapes it's very specific shapes actually I'm not having any misfits or anything so this is really good so it's definitely solvable but it will take more time and I don't know I kind of think like maybe I'm gonna take a little break now because I've been oh I didn't tell you how long I've been puzzling for so I've been puzzling for three hours now and it's a 550 piece puzzle. Well, that's including the sorting and, and the frame and everything. So yeah, very interesting. I did not expect that it's a 500 piece puzzle. So I'm just thinking now, how bad would it be if it didn't actually have letters in it? Oh my God, it would drive me insane. Cause like the letters help so much. And if I didn't have them, ooh, <laughs> I don't want to think about that. But yeah, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna take a break now. I have to finish filming for today anyway. The sun is gonna go down and everything. So I'm just gonna try to solve some more of the crossword just to have some sort of clues. Because at least if I make like sections, it's easier to close them down because then I have the P shapes. So that should be helpful. It's not, I wouldn't say it's an enjoyable puzzle. Definitely not. It's quite fun because some letters get revealed and then I'm like, oh, that's what it is. And I just, you know, keep writing, but at the same time, 
it would be a lot easier if I actually had the picture. So I think once I solve this, I'm going to fill everything in as I'm solving it. And I'm just going to leave it in the box for whoever does it next so it helps them. You know, they don't need to look at it, but it's there in case they want to. But it's a complete and utter mess right now. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to finish for today and just get back to it tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning and let me tell you one thing. This crossword is definitely more difficult than I expected. So... I tried to solve it, I wasn't very successful, but there are some stuff that, you know, make a lot of sense because I'm like, I didn't even think about them. So the two clues that are giving me problems now is, um, which one is it? It's 38, it's 38 across, so dictatorship, government by just one political party, and it's something has to be something ism because we've got m is the last letter and there's a lot of a's in there i'm gonna give you the clues at the bottom because i kind of like those are the two words that i want you to guess before i actually finish the puzzle and i'm thinking if i should even you know hide it but obviously when the time lapse is on you're gonna be able to see it so that would be a bit difficult but i want you to try to find the two words because they've got like 15 letters so is that one is 38 Across dictatorship government by just one political party with 15 letters and then the other one is where is it number 20? Where are you 20 down? Is derogatory tending to discredit someone also 15 letters? I'm gonna give you the letters that I have in right now, but I'm not 100% that they're the right letters so it might just confuse you anyway I figure out why Prosecco didn't come in. I can I don't know what was wrong with me, but it's it's a city in France, not in Italy. So I was right when I said champagne, I think, I hope. Anyway, because champagne fit in, so I would assume that that's it. So I think now it should make it a lot easier because I've got letters and I've got quite a lot solved, so I'm just gonna go by that and hopefully I manage to finish the puzzle. I'm just I don't know how much I got wrong, this is gonna be exciting. Well, oh, interesting, really, because it's a complete and utter mess, this, right now. So, yeah, I hope it's going to be a little bit easier now, because obviously I've got the letters to go from. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing it now. The puzzle is finally complete. I have no idea how long it took me because I wasn't marking the times down, but I would say roughly between like three to four hours. So I would say this is the slowest 500 piece puzzle I've done, but it was actually really enjoyable. Like it wasn't stressful at all because I had enough to go from. It didn't feel like I'm gonna get trapped in a loop where I've got nothing to, to help myself with, if that makes any sense. But the puzzle, the quality is really good. There's like no misfits, it holds together really well. So, you see, it's a really, really good puzzle. And it's got like standard shaped pieces, but they are not always in line. So sometimes one piece is gonna go over the other one. So that was a little bit, com well, confusing. It probably made it a little bit more difficult because I'm not used to that cut. But I absolutely love the puzzle. Like, I finally found the two words. Should I read them out to you? Well, you can probably see them already. I can't read. So, okay, so which one was it? It was, so 20 down, derogatory, tending to discredit someone. That was... Did I even write it? Where is it? Disadvantage. 
disadvantages. Yeah, so that's the one word. And then the other one, which was... Uh, where are you? 38 across. Dictatorship government by just one political party. Totally, totalitarianism. So yeah, we've got the two words, we finally found them. It was actually quite good, the crossword. I felt like it was really difficult, but really once I started to find the answers, it's not actually that bad, it's just because English is not my native language. Some of the words are really simple and I should have known them because we've got, you know, what does it say? Private, secret, personal. Yeah, of course I know that word, it's just... I think there are some stuff when you do the crossword puzzles, you get used to some of the words that are being used and like it didn't even cross my mind. Anyway, um, what was the other one? Well, champagne, we've covered that already. <laughs> um, I googled the volcano, it's Popocatepetl. Till I don't know how to say it, I'm really sorry. I completely butchered this word. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna... But yeah, total music, musical, I, I don't remember what it was, 30 across, what is it? Instinctive understanding for melody, harmony and rhythm is musicality. Obviously I know this word. So it's like with some of the stuff, it, once they came together, I was like, yeah, I should have known that. And Chicago as well, a city famous for its gangsters. It's like, yeah, I should have known that, you know, <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I don't know how many of you actually solved the puzzle. I hope you did. Like, it was quite fun actually, to be completely honest with you. I've never done a puzzle like this before, but what I realized after the fact, it says on the box, first solve the enclosed crossword puzzle, then use the completed puzzle as your guide to assemble the jigsaw puzzle. So yeah, should have probably read that before, because <laughs> yeah, it was really confusing. So. I was actually expecting that this puzzle would be empty and that you have to fill it in. And if that was the case, I think that would be the worst puzzle on the planet because it would just be... I cannot believe that. I went in thinking that I'm gonna assemble this 550 piece puzzle without it being solved in like a normal time. It took me... yeah, I forgot. I, I, I need to check, but like three to four hours I would say to finish this puzzle with the writing on and I wanted to do it without the writing expecting that I'm gonna do it like in an average, I don't know, let's say two hour time frame. This is insane. So I would definitely say in that sense it's a difficult puzzle because even sometimes when I knew the words and what the letters I'm looking for, I still couldn't find the, uh, the piece. And what I've realized as well is some of the pieces I turned upside down because there was like, I don't know how to show you because I'm, I'm not going to find it now. Oh, there it is. Well, technically this one has a known X to it, but eh. So, you see this is, I don't know how much you can see, but this is turned up. Yeah, because it's got a T here. But if you turn that around, it could be an L. So some of the pieces I had turned upside down because it was missing one section. But, you know, things like that happen as well. I'm really glad I've done this puzzle before going for holidays because now I can just sit back and relax. And by the time the video comes out, I'm probably gonna be snorkeling somewhere on the shores of Croatia, having the time of my life. So, mm. can't wait. It's my first sea holidays. Is that, can you say that? You know, cause there's different types of holidays, but is it like the, the one when you go swimming basically. So my first sea holidays this year, and I'm really looking forward to it. So. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!